good morning to all of you and uh, i am going to release the trade report for the coming week last week also we have given the levels and last week lot of ups and downs was there and the performance of this last week's analysis you can verify so last week the report was being given on 2nd of february and and 2nd of february so nifty reference we have taken bank nifty reference we have taken bank nifty has fallen down and uh, you can say if i can cross verify cross verify this thing then uh, last week also i have warned you that sgx was down and monday you will experience a huge downtrend and that downtrend process if you are not getting the chances to enter at the first cycle better to focus on the second cycle this is what i have told you last week and last week data is here so 5th to 9th so 5th february you have opened 26095 and 6th you have it has made 25000 was a big low and if you just look into the report report what is being generated by one is the software so this was the first cycle uptrend and downtrend for the last week and this was the first cycle first cycle you did not get a chance because you have opened at 26000 so 25853 was the next entry as per the one standard deviation principle so opening of opening of nifty on 5th february was 26094 low was 25903 so 26196 it has closed so and 6th february if you see 25200 open 25800 and 25848 level it has settled down so second if i just go for the second cycle so the second cycle entry if i can look into the second cycle entry what we have calculated last week which is 25858 you should enter 26037 should be your stop loss and these are the targets however you have achieved 25000 level in the opening hour itself then you have bounced and if you have made a entry also in the second hour third cycle post post tuesday then you can say post tuesday till friday we have come down till 25356 in between we have made a high of 26148 very rare chances to trade in bank nifty last week very very feeble and bank the remote chances we got as per this principle so coming to the nifty part nifty what are the things we have got so whatever the things we have analyzed and whatever the things we have got so nifty we have analyzed so we have analyzed these are the things 10000 so this is the 10000 till 10498 was the first cycle downtrend no scope to enter no scope to enter so if i just go for this 10629 722 on 5th february so 722 level so 775 never has come so 722 level it has come means first cycle itself we got a chance to sell 498 was first cycle 383 10383 second cycle 10270 was the third cycle so monday we got a chance 10300 on 6th february on 6th february 10300 so very much in the third cycle last but one target we have achieved on the tuesday in that gap down action and we have just oscillated between this 642 
311 in that level only we have oscillated. 300 level to 647, this, this level only we have oscillated. So this is what happened for the Nifty last week. So there is a gap down actions and uh, that has provided very few chances for the people to enter the trade. And some got the chances to enter the trade, some never get these chances to trade. Nifty we are successful to certain extent, bank Nifty we are not that much lucky. So for coming week, if I just take the coming week, coming week price points, what we have calculated and what we are expecting from the market. So one standard deviation gives a great increase in the volatility. Last week it was some 10% and odd. If you see 15% and odd real time volatility it is telling 50% increment the volatility. Bank Nifty also same way. So 13 to 16% was there, 21% near it has come. Great increment in the volatility, price also corrected. Closed below 10,485. PCR, the put call ratio are below, you can say in the range of 85 to 0.85 to 0.90. This also suggests that you are in a downtrend. So once the put call ratio improves above 0.9, you can say there will be a uptrend till 1.05 and post 1.05 to 1.16 put call ratio in Nifty. You will be in a consolidation band. So currently it is in a downtrend zone and Nifty has closed at 10,485. Last trading price it is. With this particular incremented volatility, if I calculate, it is telling me that 10,538 above, you should buy Nifty, keeping a stop loss of 10,399. If you are selling the Nifty at 10,432, you should keep a stop loss of 10,571. So, based on the opening on the Monday, you will decide whether to buy or sell. However, in the 0.5 range, 10,597 to 10,373 level, if it consolidates, then we can have a consolidation mark. If it crosses 10,538 range, then you buy the future along with 10,550 put option. 10,550 put option, which is currently at 172 to 173 range. You can get it at 140, 155 range that time. If it crosses 38 on Monday, 10,538. By the future, along with this put option. But one thing you have to remember very carefully, the put options are having huge, huge time value. Because of this increment in the volatility. So any moment if the volatility falls, then you can land in a bigger loss also. So stop loss should be 10,399 and if the stop loss hit that time, you can expect this put option to be 270 range. First target 10,624 as per this table, 624, second target 10,661. The first target you are achieving, move your stop loss to 10,571. If you are achieving the second target, move your stop loss to the 0.5 level. If you are achieving the third target, move your stop loss to the 10,624 level. So this is how you can move your stop loss and continue with the trade. How to trade if the downtrend starts, 10,432 level comes. If it falls below 10,432, then you sell along with 10,450 call option which you can buy at 144 to 128 range, it will be available that time if the downtrend starts. And you need to keep a stop loss of 10,571 and if the stop loss hits, the call option can go to 195 range. First target has hits, you have to trail your stop loss. Second target has hits, you have to trail the stop loss to 0.5 level, so 10,399. 309 if it achieves, 373 will be a trailing stop loss. If it's going to 10,286, revise your stop loss to 10,300. So go on trailing the stop loss in this manner. However, 
again i will tell you because of the incremented volatility because of this incremented volatility the time value of the options are very high if you has the future buy along with the option put option buy or if you has the future sell along with the call option buy still you are exposed to a bigger amount of risk because of this volatility if the volatility decays then in first target or second target mostly your profit can become negligible so how to manage that you can have a some more complexity you have to add to your trade suppose if you are buying at 10538 level and you are hedging it with the 10550 put option you know that last target you can get it at 10847 so think of selling a 10700 call option which is your third target or think of selling a 10750 call option or 800 or 850 call option if you buy a future along with the put option hedge but still think of selling a call option so to buy that process some amount of if the volatility decay happens some amount of losses you can control or volatility decays along with the stop loss triggering you can further control some amount of losses so you can able to manage your losses if you little bit do some writing of the options also and some fantastic opportunity also this kind of situation gives you this kind of situation gives you a good opportunity to trade in different different ways in the options say now volatility is pretty high and this is going to decay so currently you are at 10485 you are expecting 10100 downside or 10850 in the option so nothing wrong if you can sell on 10800 call option and also sell on 10100 put option both you can sell so both you can sell so this you can sell both and has it with 10900 call buy and 10000 put buy 10000 put buy so 10000 put buy so these two things if you can this you can buy and you can sell 10800 call and 10200 if volatility decays and the price consolidates in this band for one week you start this hedging so on monday and by friday if the price neither move above 10850 nor move below 10120 consolidates in this band so definitely the volatility will fall and you will be gaining from this trade unfortunately if the price is moving above 10850 or falling below 10100 22 try to close this trade very small amount of losses will be there very very few hundreds losses will be there so this kind of trades also you initiate in this kind of raised volatility scenario when there is a greater probability for the volatility to fall so you can also form such kind of option strategy now bank nifty also similar kind of option strategy you can form now it is a pretty big weller volatility 20.79% and bank nifty 0.382 level only i suggest you to make an entry 25811 above if it goes you can buy along with the hedging of 25800 put if it fall below 25250 sell it with 25300 call option same trailing loss mechanism you can use same trailing loss mechanism you can do and you can hedge your trade based on the price of your entry so by this process you can protect your trade and also you can make some good money from it so try to follow this particular report for the coming week and give your feedbacks And if you are viewing this particular video in the YouTube channel, 
better try to subscribe the channel so that whenever we upload any video you will be getting the information you get the subscription subscription button here so you can subscribe you can share the video so whenever you see any video there will be a share button so try to share the video with your friends and in case if you have any query associated with this particular level you can contact us in our email id send your emails if you wish to get this reports by email register in our site so that whenever we upload any report you will be informed by email so by this process you will be stay connected with us you can follow us in the facebook or twitter that is also a good medium for us to communicate with you by this process you will be connected with us and you will also have the access to our invoices any courses and softwares if you are thinking that s1 is the principle works well and wish to get this android app or software try to purchase it from our website any query on the product you can call in this numbers sales numbers are given on the top so we will help you to identify the correct product for your trading need follow this report for this week and give your feedback either by email or in the facebook or twitter or in the youtube comments thank you very much